Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Unit 3 of Microcontrollers, which is Pattern Control. I'm Associate Professor Dr. Trisna Kaslan, and I'm working in the Department of Computer Engineering in Haran University, which is located in Turkey. Let's begin. Button Control. We must use buttons to develop advanced application with microcontrollers. You can see an example of button on the screen. If you want to control microcontrollers using buttons, it is important to visualize how buttons work in your mind. Let's look at the one and zero. What does it mean? Pin MCLR is used to understand whether a someone pressed a button or not and becomes when it is a way it becomes one when it is pressed on the button which is connected to pin MCLR. As you see, we are applying 5 voltage to the pin 4 and there is a resistor between voltage and the pin. It is 10 kilo ohm. As you see, we are applying directly 5 voltage to the pin 4. But on the other hand, when someone press the button, we are not applying 5 voltage to the pin 4 because the current is just flowing through the ground. This is the way we can apply 1 or 0 to the pins of microcontrollers. This is an example how can you control buttons using assembly language. Let's begin a project and write the codes and run it. For this reason, on desktop, click Ampilab. From the menu, select the project and then project wizard. Click next and select the microcontroller you want to use. In this lecture, we are going to use PIC 16F84A and it is selected as you see. And then you select the default compiler. And then give a name to your project. In my case, I'm going to select the desktop. On the desktop, I'm going to select the microcontrollers folder. With, within the, this folder, I'm going to create a new folder. And let's name it micro. section one and I just copied the name and gave the name micro 03 underscore zero one and then click the next button after that you can end the project now you have a new project you can click the new file to write your assembly language codes for example the first line you have to list which microcontroller you want to use. In my case, I'm going to use 16F84A and then I can save it to the folder I, just, I have just created. Let's go on desktop, select and give a name to, do, to your file. It will be micro zero three underscore one. In my case, you can give it any name you want. And then I close it and I'm going to add this file to do my project. That's why I selected it again. Now I can write my codes. First of all, I listed 
which microcontroller I'm going to use in my project. It is 16F84A. And then I'm going to add the library into the my project. My project. Let's write include and the library. It is p16f84.inc extension. That means you include all the labels to the project. Now I'm going to write port. That means I'm going to start my project from the first line of the memory. And then I'm going to clear clear file register. That may, I'm going to write clear at port B. That means if any LED or something connect to your port A with port B, that means all will be off. Let's write P S F. That means bit set file that means i'm going to activate the fifth bit of the status register that means i'm going to change from band 0 to band 1 after that i can write clear f this b that means i'm going to use all the pins from port B as outputs and then I can go to the band 0 again that means I can write BCV status 5 but in my case because this lecture is about button control I have to authorize trace A as inputs. That means I'm going to move letter W hash FF. That means and then I can move the values of the W register to trace A. Can you see? That means we use the clear F command to clear the trace B and then we change the value of W register with FF that means all the bits of the uh, W register is 1 and then we just move the value of w, uh, w register to trace A that means all the value of trace A is now 1. This means you can use the pins of port A as inputs. That means you can connect a button to do to any pins of port A. Now let's write okay codes. I just name a label control and then I can write move F that means port A to W. That means I'm going to copy the value of uh, pins in port A to W register. After that, I can take the value from the W register and copy to port P. That means whatever you have in port A, it will be written to port P again. And then I can create a for loop and then write end. After, I, uh, after you finish typing all the codes, you can just compile. Select Control plus F on from your keyboard or just select the project menu and then select the build all. Let's compile. Can you see there is no error? Now I can visualize these commands. Let's go on the desktop. Let's click Proteus 8 demonstration version. That means 
you can run your uh, project but you can't save it let's click the new project and then give a name to your project let's say micro 30 and 01 after that click next you can use the default templates don't uh, select any template no template just select no and then finished now you have a new default template now we need microcontroller we need buttons we need led and we need resistors let's click the p and type the microcontroller you want to use in my case i'm going to use 16f a24a and then click double to add you to your uh, works and then click resistor to add a resistor in your project and then we have also button select the default button and also we need lead in my case I am select the blue color okay that's it we have everything we need just select the microcontroller and drag it to the working area this is my microcontroller and I can connect to LED I, I need 8 LED 1 2 3 4 5 I think 5 is enough in my case last uh, drag resistors one register two registers three registers four and five is enough let's click let's make the connection okay Okay, and four and five. Let me make it you can just set it. This is simulation. I just connected the first lab. I can move the second, third, fourth. Third, that is we connected all of them, but we need a ground. Again, we can put the ground here. Let's continue. So we need to change the value of the register. It is uh, by default it is 10 kilo ohm, but it's too much. Let's make it 330 
register is enough for us. Okay. Okay. We have LEDs, but we need buttons. Let's connect the buttons to do our projects. We need five buttons. But let's move a little bit. Okay. Let's move a little more. Okay, I just moved the first button and I need a ground and input actually. Okay, not this one. Well, we can power. Okay, I need a resistor. Okay. Let's rotate the resistor. Okay, now from the power, I just applying 5 voltage to first pin of the port A. That means we are applying logic 1 to the first bit of port A. But I want something else. If someone, if the user press the button, let's connect to the ground. Can you see? By default, if a user is not uh, don't press the button. That means we are applying logic one to the microcontroller. But if someone is pressing the button, that means we are applying the power. That means the, uh, the current is flowing through the ground and no voltage on the port A. That means we are applying the logic zero to the port A. We can increase the number of the button like this. Let's move another button here. Okay. Yeah, it's on. Another button. We just connect to the ground. Okay. Let's move a button here. And we need registers. One register. One more. Let's rotate the registers. Okay, five voltage. Okay, five voltage. We are applying to second and third pin for the button. Connection uh, style is not important. Okay, now we have three buttons and five LEDs. Okay, we can ap now upload the codes to the microcontrollers. Just double click the microcontrollers, select the program file folder, and find the, your compiler file. This is my compiled file and select it. Now we connect it. Now we can uh, run the simulation. I'm going to run the simulation like this. Okay, can you see? All my LED, first, second, and third LED is on, but this fourth and fifth LED is off because no power is applied to the third and fourth pins of port A that but when I press the button can you see if you press the button of uh, the pin A uh, pin port A the first pin of the port A can you see 
Then you press the second button, the third button. Can you see? By using the buttons, you are controlling the LEDs. Can you see? Whenever you press any buttons, the LEDs becomes off. How it works? Let's look at the old codes again. This section is very important. Can you see? We are taking the values of port A and writing to W. After that, we are taking the values W and writing to, to port B. That means we are taking the values of port A in real time and writing to port B. That means if the value of the port A is zero, that means 